Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another empties video. I seem to do these videos like once every two to three months because that's how long it takes me to collect things to then decide whether they're good enough to show them to you. And to be honest, I was going to wait like another week or so but I noticed that my mum had been in my room trying to throw things away and I was like, you know how mums just like to come and start cleaning even though all you've asked them to do is like open your bedroom window to let some air in. As soon as you come back in it's like, who's been cleaning? So let's get started. First thing is this Pixie Glow Tonic which is my favourite of their range of toners that they have. However, I have got one more of these because I bought it as part of a two set. I absolutely love it. It is definitely one of my favourite toners. But I decided to try their brand new one, the Vitamin C one, the one that is yellow. So we will see when the next empties comes round or when that one eventually finishes, whether I decide to go back to this one. I do have another one, like I said, and it is definitely a favourite. My hair gel. This is a spray hair gel from Superdrug. It's called the Style Expertise Hold sculpture gel spray i have used this for years i've got like five backups in my room i use it all the time like now my hair is freshly washed and lovely but i try not to wash my hair more than once a week because i just don't like to use too much heat and stuff on my hair so when i tie it up i like to use this spray gel because it delivers a nice fine mist of gel it doesn't go crunchy and hard or turn white it still retains that natural hair look to it so that's the reason why i love this so much and it still keeps all those flyaways in place okay we've got two aveeno skin relief nourishing lotions here you shouldn't be surprised you see these in every empties video of mine because i use this every single day i use this blue one and then i use the green one it just depends on what's on offer i love it it's unscented so that means it's very easy for me to layer perfumes on top it keeps my skin nicely moisturized it sinks into the skin it doesn't sit on top of the skin making your skin feel greasy and oily which then rubs off onto your clothes no we're not here for that so that's one of the reasons why i love this plus it's perfect for people that have got eczema prone skin skin related dry skin issues it's really good for those kind of people what has my mum done like what is this she's flattened these boxes i've got three of them these are the optase tea tree oil lid white lepharitis which is a dry skin eye condition which i'm currently suffering from only on this eye now this eye is better this eye is just being slow um this is what i use to scrub my eyelid safely and the tea tree oil in it gets rid of any bacteria any dirt any crap like that and keeps your eyelids clean and there are 20 wipes in each so this has lasted me about three months that's why there are three boxes my embryo lees la creme concentrate you guys should know by now this is my ride or die every day moisturizer that i use every morning i love that it also doubles up as a primer so those days where i either forget to wear primer or can't be bothered i don't have to worry because i've got this on underneath it's thick it's intense it's rich it's moisturizing i've got normal to combination skin and it works perfectly well for me yes it does leave like a kind of greasy slightly look to the skin but once i put my makeup on top and everything is fine and it stops me getting dry skin i absolutely love it i've already opened a new one from lush my favorite shampoo which i've been using for about 10 years i'd say it's the rehab shampoo i can only use lush shampoos in my hair i can't use your standard drugstore brand or all those other brands out there they make my head itch I've got very, very sensitive skin. Obviously, that's why I've got blepharitis, I get eczema, all that kind of stuff. And I have a very sensitive scalp. And it seems to be the only Lush shampoos are the ones that stop me getting a flaky, itchy scalp. And Rehab is one of my favourites. It literally strips all the dirt and rubbish out of your hair, leaving it nice and soft and lovely. Blephasol, which I mentioned in one of my recent favourites videos, is a micellar lotion for the daily hygiene of sensitive eyelids. So people who suffer from any kind of eye conditions or that have got sensitive eyes watery eyes that sort of thing because there's no alcohol in it when i clean it and it gets into my eyes it literally does not burn it doesn't feel i can't feel anything at all so i love that about this plus it's actually really really good at removing stubborn eye makeup like mascara as well as liquid eyeliner so i think that even once my blepharitis is gone i'm still going to continue to use this because it's really really good my l'oreal magic retouch dark brown instant root concealer spray has finally finished from the first one that i bought whenever i did that video which is one of my most popular videos 
Um, it's basically a root touch-up spray, so you get a spray. I get mine in dark brown because there is no dark red, which is what colour my hair actually is. But thankfully, because my hair is still quite dark, I can still use this shade without it being too obvious. For those scattered greys, I'm already my hair grows really, really fast, and I just can't justify dyeing it every week. It's like it'll ruin my hair if I do that. So for those in between stages when your greys or your whites are starting to get really obvious, it's really great to use this. I'm already on to my next one. Colourpop No Filter Setting Powder in the shade Banana. There's a tiny bit left in the bottom, but I can't actually get it out. It's being stubborn. Um, I have mentioned before that this is a really, really good powder, but I just can't justify $6 or $10, whatever it is, to order it all the way from the US just to come here for this tiny little thing. It's just not worth it for me. So unfortunately, no repurchase there. Oh, look, another Aveeno. We have three. <laughs> One for every month. We've got two deodorants, Nivea Pure Invisible and Nivea Black and White Fresh. And the reason why I like these is because there is no alcohol. Is there no alcohol in this one? Oh, there is a little bit in that one. Hey, how did that one get through? That's probably why there's still some in it. I don't really like deodorants which have got alcohol in it. I shave my underarms, so I don't like that whole burning Macaulay Culkin ah, kind of feeling. My The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, which you guys know that I use every single day. So the way that my normal part of my everyday skincare routine is wash face, tone with this. This is in the morning, by the way. Then I apply my hyaluronic acid, wait for it to dry, and then I top it off with my Embryo Lees followed by some sunscreen. So that's the reason why these will always be repurchased and I've already moved on to my next one. Um, yeah, the Carmex Lip Balm. Love it, use it every single day without fail. In the morning, I don't use it at night, I use something more intense at night because this is quite shiny and rubs off. So I tend to generally use this before I apply lipstick and it keeps them really nice and moist before I blot it off and then apply my lipstick. And talking of lipstick, this is Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in thick as thieves. So that's it for my um, empties, my makeup stroke skincare stroke hair and everything else empties. I'm going to go throw these all in the bin now. That'll make my mum happy that there's no rubbish lying around in the house. Actually it is bin day. All right. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.